Hello everybody, my name is Kenny Kwan. I work in the tech marketing team here at Riverbed Technology. And what I'm gonna be walking you through is a very quick demonstration of, uh, of what Scott just talked about, one of our, 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 our Steelhead SaaS product. And, and the example we're gonna be using today is gonna to be Box.com. Uh, Box.com is obviously, you know, it's a vehicle for a lot of enterprises now for hosting uh, enterprise data and, 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 and files and so forth, okay? So um, let's start off here. Uh, what you're seeing on the screen now today is what we call is our cloud portal. This is like our landing page for managing all of our, our SaaS applications. Uh, we, just, we just released this all SaaS licensing model now. So when you purchase one SaaS license, the all SaaS, you get all the SaaS application support that comes with that. And that includes all the proxy certificates that that, uh, that needs to get be pushed onto those Akamai steelheads that get deployed on demand when you need it when you're going out to those SaaS environments. So what we have is our on our front page here. Uh, we actually have at the very top. This tells us that what I have set up is I've got five steelheads that are granted service that are able to peer with with all of my SaaS applications. And below it is a SaaS summary here. Uh, what I have is. Uh, I have the ability to have acceleration for all these different applications, but I've only enabled three of them, Box, Office 365, and Salesforce.com. And uh, Can you comment on the partnership with Akamai? I noticed like, their logo is on, on this portal. So can you just comment, I guess, a little more detail on the partnership between you guys? Yeah, and is my mic up here as well? Yeah, yeah so... Um, yeah, so Akamai is the partner that we use to get the points of presence, uh, something that we established, uh, I think, over a couple years ago now. Um, and, uh, and it's through them that we've been putting together the you know, $1.99 uh, all-you-can-eat universal SaaS per user per month. Um, and uh, we continue to expand our offering. Uh, for us, the, the, key, the architectural key here was around points of presence. And the work that we did with them was to take our cloud steelhead product that was originally built for uh, places like Amazon and Azure um, um, to integrate it into their actual ecosystem. So all the auto discovery that happens with steelheads, the ability to spin up new instances of effectively these virtual instances running on Akamai servers um, happens behind the scenes in a very elastic way. Um, and so that was all the work that we've done to create that combined plumbing. So we've got the point of presence. Yeah. yeah. Cool game. Thanks, Josh. Anyway, so um, right now, so we are looking at the cloud portal interface. Now, let's, uh, if we drill into a little deeper, then you can really, if you're, if you're curious, you can view the actually proxy certificates that are associated with all the, the box uh, websites that they have. So we have all these that are listed here that, and there's quite a few, and every single SaaS vendor would have that same, you know, same list of uh, proxy certs. Um, let's go ahead and jump over to the, the Stewhead UI side. It's a very simple interface on the UI side, uh, on, the, on the Stewhead side. And all we need to do is we just need to register this particular Stewhead into our cloud portal. And uh, that's just through a little checkbox here. And we enable the cloud acceleration through a checkbox. And once we've done that, we get access to this box or any of these SaaS applications. Then all we need to do is just click enable and we're ready to begin optimizing at that point. And also, I'm gonna have a, um, this is a current connections view of, of uh, what I'm gonna be demoing. I'm gonna have, a, you know, we're gonna show the connection from my on-premise uh, client onto the box uh, environment. So let's go ahead and minimize this guy. Oh, that's not good. Okay. So what I have here on the screen now is I've got two Windows clients connected to box.com. On the left hand side is the unoptimized connection. It's a pass through where we're not optimizing. On the right hand side, we've actually got through the, uh, uh, through the SAS steel head. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what the performance is like before and after acceleration. So let's just begin. It's gonna take about a minute and a half. So let's go ahead and just let that start. We'll download this particular file. We'll say stay, we'll, have a, we'll start the timer. And uh, also I wanted to say that the, uh, the WAN, the simulated WAN that we have, uh, we've, con we, we've controlled it because, you know, uh, from our corporate office, you know, we have, you know, probably a 10 gig link. So, and what I did is I restricted that to about a, a two megabit link and about 100 millisecond latency. So that, you know, it's almost typical of someone back east probably connecting to box.com. 
and uh, this as you can see it's, it's taking a little time it's probably it's going to finish about maybe about a minute and a half um, so that's roughly what what end users experience today without sort of a, any sort of acceleration so it's kind of painful and this is just one user can you imagine if you got hundreds or thousands of users doing the same thing accessing the same SaaS environments so while that's going um, I'm gonna wait because uh, let that run and then when that fins I'm gonna go ahead and go through the show you the the optimized site and right now what we're gonna do just to uh, stage the rest of what I'm gonna do once we do that I'm gonna download the optimized file I mean the file through the optimized connection and then we're gonna do some changes to the file we're gonna upload it back and we're gonna show you some uh, how the WAN acceleration how we how are uh, the benefits of, of steelhead technology with our Data, data streamlining, application streamlining, transport streamlining. Actually, which we we we've, we're the you know market leader for that, and we've had that you know for many years now. We've adopted that from the on-premise you know branch of data center now to the cloud. So, okay, we're still going for another 25. Looks like 27 seconds. So, okay. the internet is extra slow today. <laughs> yeah. So first. while you while this is happening, you know demo. this is happening. You can go and get a cup of coffee or something like that. So. <laughs> okay, it's almost done. It's, it's about another 10 seconds, I believe. So <clears throat> then I'll go ahead and stop that. Okay, roughly around two minutes for, and this particular file was about 20 mega, megabytes. So let's go ahead and begin on the um, the optimized steelhead side. And keep in mind that 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 a lot of times these steelheads, the SAS steelhead. They're gonna. They're not gonna spin up until you actually have a connection to your SaaS environment. So a lot of times you're gonna get code performance, which is like a first pass performance. But if you got multiple users accessing the same data, the second users and subsequent users are all gonna re receive all those benefits of the of the WAN optimization. Before you press the button here, we're, we're you basically warmed up cache effectively. Oh, no, this, this in, is, this in is cold. Head, this was this is no no steel head. Okay, so the first one was no steelhead at all. We didn't prime the pump the, or anything. The left that side, was just to give, give yeah. Give the left baseline. side is the steelhead, give you a baseline. Okay. So the right hand side is going to be the uh, the the uh, optimized side. Optimized, but having not seen this data. Haven't before. seen it yet. Haven't seen it yet because a lot of times, like uh, as I mentioned, SAS, the steelheads are going to be down, and then they're going to be spun up on, on an as needed basis. Yeah. Gotcha. So, so yeah. if we ran it a second time after that, might we expect it to be a little then, faster? Yes. Then, then yes. So okay. if, I, if I ran it, I'm not sure if that's part of. I'll done probably already, be the one so. receiving the you know the painful first time, and then if Josh does it again, he's going right. to he's going to reap the benefits of of what I went through. That'll be cool. So yeah, that, well, well, yeah, we'll step through that. So let's go ahead and do the download, and this is a first time transfer. Wait for a little pop up to pop up here. And so, really, we're going to see optimization of Box.com and how it's correct. Whatever its underlying protocol. Correct. Is. So right now, this is not. Yeah, this is going to take roughly about maybe 34 seconds. It's already like 30 percent. Yeah. You know, on the fly, as we're seeing data, we're actually studying that data. We're learning about the, the byte patterns, and if we see something that we've seen before, it's going to get optimized. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be uh, just like historical. Yes, yeah, exactly. Steelhead work would do. Yeah. It's interesting, going back to my, to my earlier question on the relationship, it's almost like this could have been something that was sold through Akamai or even Box to SaaS companies, you know, and just leveraged Riverbed's technology on the back end. So it's interesting that this is being sold, like, direct, I guess, to the end user. Yeah, it's, all, it's almost like there's an infrastructure as a service offering that right. Riverbed right. is pr providing, right, to the end users, and it was sort of by design. It was to take out the need for an end user to have to maybe pay for a separate license through Box and Office 365 and everybody else, right? If you're in the business of op optimizing application performance, we're trying to figure out what are the top N yeah. apps that are yeah. causing the most pain or concern for you, and we roll that into the uh, service, and there's just one license. What about for mobile users? Mobile users, this is, this is definitely of interest for us. Today it's available on the physical appliance on-premises, um, and that's you know, one of many things that we're, we're looking into, Denise, but it's, it's a good question. Thank you. It's kind of a... A good use case for this. So, if we just look at the at the stopwatches here, you know, the uh, the first time transfer actually resulted in about a three x speed up. So, you know, we we definitely made improvements even on a first time transfer. And if we look into the connections, hopefully it didn't disappear. Okay, it's still there. So, we were showing about a fifty percent data reduction just on that first pass alone. And uh, 
if we drill into the details here, you know, this shows that, you know, obviously it's a secure connection, which is something we've already taken care of the dirty work, you know, on the riverbed side. Uh, we are appearing with a steelhead uh, SAS sitting in Akamai. So this is all the, you know, all the details that we need to know. So now, now that we've done that, and that's not, not, not bad, you know, not bad. 3x speed up is not bad, you know, bad performance just for a first time transfer, but folks aren't buying our appliances just for that one time transfer, you know, they're going to be downloaded multiple times. So what I'm going to do ne next is I'm going to go ahead and um, open the file on both sides. And I'm going to make a couple edits or just I'm just going to edit the file, add, uh, add a change to it. And this also shows the ability for us to work bi-directional. We only can, you know, we can go download and upstream as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert a uh, picture here just to change the file. Let's put that jellyfish diagram for the heck of it. I'm going to rename this file to be called, uh, let's call it a new file. Okay. And I'll do the same change here on this particular, hopefully I did the same. <coughs> Downloads, jellyfish once again. Call this save as. New file. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna go ahead and um, we're going to upload that new file at the same time, hopefully, you know, let me get this one all set up as well. And because that's what we expect, you know, end users to do, <coughs> make changes, upload, download, you know, we're not downloading the same file a hundred times, you know, so we're, we're, we're actually making changes to it. Okay. So I'm going to try to start this at the same time. If I can, it might be a second off, but upload there, start. Uh, I lost a couple seconds here. So you can see on the right hand side, the optimized connection, you know, we, we, we're taking advantage of the bytes that we've already seen beforehand. We've learned about it. And we're going to stop this at about right around there. So roughly around 20 seconds to do the upload. This guy, he's barely 20 seconds. He's already 20 seconds in and he's only uploaded about four of the 20 megs. So. So this is just an example illustrating how we've moved our WAN optimization capabilities from on-premise up into the SaaS environment so that folks that are moving to this hybrid and the cloud can take advantage of WAN, <coughs> still head in WAN, WAN, WAN optimization. Again, on the SaaS side, you're actually spinning up individual instances. Of, it's you not me. It's, it's not me. It's Akamai doing it. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. The, right, right. If I, if I close this connection, go away for an hour, come back, the still head will probably be it's going to be a different steelhead. It's going to, it's because oh. Akamai changes it. It changes the, uh, the IPs constantly on us. So th this, this is very transient. I'm sorry. Go ahead. So. Uh, there is some persistence. Let me get a microphone for you real quick. We just want to make sure everybody honk can hear what you're going to say. Ah, yes. There you go. Yeah, I was just going to say that there is some persistence with the, the steelhead. We don't just turn it. Because the idea, of course, is if you keep turning them on and off, then everything's cold. Right, so there is some some level of exactly. Yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. So what's that what's that traffic flow like in terms of? Can you talk about just like physical traffic flow again in terms of, you know, leaving the user, ultimately hitting box, and I guess, you know, what is persistent potentially and what's actually happening in Akamai? Sure, sure. So uh, uh, essentially, right, the user is going to make the connection. That's that's this steelhead here. Yep, yep. Uh, picks that up when he sends it in. He's sending it in with a, a UDP encapsulation that will identify it from that particular customer, right? So then when Akamai handles it, they know how to put it on a Cloud Steelhead instance that's per pertinent to them because we talked about those SSL certificates and keys, right? Those are, those are unique per customer. So each customer has their choice of how they want to handle the certificates and keys. Then it gets there, then it just comes back out the, out the box and then box returns it back, right? And it, same kind of plumbing on its way back. Yeah, the, we just, I just show you those proxy certificates. So this is one of them. That's, that's the, the virtual. So the virtual steelheads are spun up as P 
appearing with the physical or virtual, whatever, steelhead at the branch office. Mm -hmm. not, yes. on a, not on a per flow or per user or per download basis, but it's on a per branch office basis or per steelhead at the branch office basis. That's, so if other traffic to and from bot, the box was going through that from that branch, it would still cause that virtual instance in Akamai to stay up? Yes, yes. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yep. There, there's some, yeah, there's some persistence there, right? And that persistence right. is... And the journey starts at the client, right? So right. there is the integration on the Akamai side uh, into the, the client side steelhead so that we're getting onto their network, which has the smallest path to where we're trying to optimize. And then on top of that, as Scott was explaining, that shortest path may be different than the pop that is originally chosen. And then we figure out how to redirect to where your actual data is being housed, right? So that's the GeoDNS going deeper into the application layer to make that happen. So then in theory, based on the users in the, at that site, you might have user A, maybe based on licensing, should be going through Akamai, user, user two, user B is not, and then it's not redirected to Akamai, right? Then you're going straight, straight to Box in that instance. Or is going that, back is that, is that possible? Akamai pops or something, perhaps. I'm saying, you know, could, you know in that, instances. Right, I, right, but I guess in mind, I'm just saying like Akamai and not Akamai. Can you have that based on licensing? I guess where one user is just you know getting forwarded through the, the appliance on site. You you could generally generally our customers are are you know going with a dollar ninety nine per user per month and buying enough of those licenses to service their users. Well, I guess I'm trying to dig in technically one step further. Like you know what what's being examined or looked at like on on the appliance, and if it didn't match for that user, if it's that cert or the you know the proxy. You know, whatever whatever's being examined in theory that I guess should be the case right if there's a burst of new employees coming in they're not, not licensed yet like are they are they getting optimized or just going straight to box and not being optimized well the, so so the way the user the per user licensing works is not actually tied to an individual it. right it's tied to the capacity to support an anonymous got it, user got it. Okay. so you just create it you get you get enough of these to support what you need similar like when you size connections per okay. WAN optimization okay. appliance so concurrent okay. connections Concurrent users. Yeah, it's very similar. Yeah, it's like concurrent users. Exactly.